And happy Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Wednesday, April 7th, 2021. And welcome back to another episode of Quarters Without Borders. I'm your host, my name is Kyle, and we are playing today for a better tomorrow. Folks, I hope wherever you are out there, whether you're starting your Wednesday morning, you're winding down your Wednesday evening, hope you've had a fantastic one, or you are about to have a fantastic one, right? We're at the midpoint of this wonderful week, at least here in central Ohio. It is warm, it is sunny, it is hot. Oh, it's a beautiful day, as most of them usually are. I think they're calling for 80 degrees Fahrenheit today. We had that a little bit yesterday, so... I'm going to be feeling the heat by the time the sun ticks over through this window far enough to start blasting me with its ultraviolet rays. <clears throat> All right, just a little drink of water here. And kind of to, to pick up where we left off. So if you're um, a, new, a new watcher, a new part of the audience, let me welcome you to our little corner of the internet where we hang out, play video games, and raise money for charity. Right now, we are playing our way through Horizon Zero Dawn. We're playing it on a PlayStation 4 Pro system, and we're doing it on the hardest available difficulty, which in this case is ultra hard. We're doing that with all the bells and whistles disabled, so that also means we have no crosshair. <clears throat> Pardon me, no crosshair. We want to make it as challenging on ourselves as possible. Why? Well, Every time we die, fail, or retry, we are donating an additional 25 cents, an additional quarter, to charity. And you can see in the bottom left of your screen, we've raised a grand total of $31.50 so far during our playthrough of this game. Wolf's tag. Good question. Where's the green screen update? What's the green screen update? The green screen is still in its box. <laughs> so the first one, if, if you recall, the first one was dead on arrival. Like, they had two sheared rivets. Um, and the second one came, it came late, but it did arrive, and it's sitting in my entryway. And I haven't opened it. Like, for whatever reason. I need to. There's no reason why I shouldn't have it open and up behind me right now. <laughs> Hopefully today, though. Wednesdays, Wednesdays are my day. I carve out a couple hours in the afternoon specifically to work on the channel. So, um, yeah, I need to get that up. I need to get that up. I'm a little nervous of opening it and having it also not be non-functioning. Which, there's nothing I can do about it, right? It's like a whole Schrodinger's cat kind of situation. You know, there is no green screen until I open that box and find out if it's broken or not. Oh. I guess the longer answer, if you're interested, is... I don't know how the green screen's gonna work in this current sit seating situation. Like I could kind of balance it precariously on my bed behind me, and that could work. That would be like the, the best of both worlds for the moment. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna have to t pivot everything. So right now the camera's facing, if I use a pen to illustrate, right now the camera's facing this way, pointing right at me. If I turn everything so it points that way, I could turn the desk, turn the camera, turn everything. There's more space there. I'd have to move one of these other desks I have, but I could move everything over here and then put the green screen on the floor, which would be a lot more efficient, but that would require me to move everything. And I think that's also why I'm dragging my feet. But thank you for asking. Thank you for keeping me um, accountable for these little upgrades. We'll get one. All right, we'll get one going. Just wrapping up here, the uh, the charity for this game, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's important stuff, though, right? The channel's not going to grow itself. It's not like a yogurt culture is just going to start consuming different things and growing in number. No, it takes it takes effort. It takes time, and I gotta. I I'm the person that has to put that time in, so we can do this. We can do this. I want this channel to be glorious. <laughs> So the charity for this game, let me, let me try to make it through this intro. The charity for this game is The Water Project. You can see that little logo in the bottom left of your screen. Um, they're a pretty large organization. They've been around for over 10 years. There's a chance you've heard of them before. Uh, they focus on providing 
reliable water projects to communities in sub-Saharan Africa that have been suffering needlessly from a lack of access to clean water and proper sanitation. They do this, of course, by providing financing, resources, and training to get these projects up and off the ground and, of course, sustained into the future. Really cool cause, really cool organization, and happy to be supporting them. If it's something that speaks to you, if it's someone that, if it's an organization or a cause that you want to get behind, there's a button below the channel, below the stream, that should take you directly to their website. You can learn more about them and what they do. And if you want to support them directly, they are a 501c3 charitable organization. So they do take donations. All right, we made it. We made it. It's Wednesday morning. You can feel the energy. It's palpable in the air. It's palpable in the air. Oh. Before we dive in, before we dive in, I know the house isn't too busy right now, so we'll have to mention it again later, but we had a wonderful word of the day last week, and I've been, I've been keeping my eye out, scratching my, my brain for a follow-up word of the day, right? We had um, this, I, this word where you're combining two words to make one word, that was our, our, our word from, from last week. Which a portmanteau, right? It wasn't two; it was toe. I think was I think um, Danielle had corrected me on that one. So I think portmanteau was our word from last week. This week's word, I'm gonna put it in the chat, and I'm curious, without looking it up, if anybody knows what this word means. The honor system, right here. Bam! Word of the day. <laughs> Bosk, B-O-S-K. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. We will go into what the definition is. I did not know what this word was. I thought it was a made-up word. But Bosk. Does anybody, is anybody familiar with what the word Bosk is? And I'll ask it again. I'll ask it again because I know I think a few folks are still arriving to the channel this morning. A bit of a slow start. So I will posit that question again later in the stream, and we will get an answer. And have hopefully expanded our vocabulary, one word at a time. All right, without any further ado, let's dive back into our adventures. <sighs> Picking up right where we left off. It's a Scrabble word. <laughs> It's a pretty solid Scrabble word. It's short, to the point. It's funny. I actually stumbled across it because I came across a board game called Bosk. I ended up picking it up because it's a gorgeous-looking game. Pardon me. But I, did, I just thought it was a made-up word. I thought it was just made up a word for the name of the game, but they didn't. Bosk is actually a real word. That had to do with what the the theme of the game was. Okay. So our little subtitle for today's stream. Living on the Edge. Alright, the classic Aerosmith song. The reason I've chosen that is because we're here right outside of a level 18 corrupted zone. Trying to take down, well, all oh heck, there's these horse cow robots, and the biggest issue is a fire bellow back. But as long as we skirt the edge, we seem to be okay. If we don't get too close, we can constantly de-aggro the enemy, and I think we can whittle them down through attrition. That's probably going to be our best strategy here. Another turkey. I need rabbits.
Is there more grass I can sneak up to? I do not think so. Trappy dudes. And we have legit traps. I forgot about these completely yesterday, but we have actual traps. I have to craft them. But we have actual traps. Not too many, unfortunately, it looks like, but um, we do have real traps. Helps to be prepared. Yes, it does. Nice and well. I think no one's seen me yet. Okay. Try the war, bro. Let's see, want to attack the big guy. Ooh, that was a, a short shot. Lady, move. Oh. Man, they take some serious... They can take some serious punishment before going down. He ran through the electric trap. The electric traps I don't think are doing anything. <laughs> he ran through the fire trap, hit a bomb, and it took a critical hit before he dropped. I think I'm just wasting my electric traps by putting them down. So it's not stunning them. It may inflict some damage. That I don't know if that actually hurts them or not. I am a fan of the trap traps though. Alright. Attempt number two, right? That was just the first one. We're kind of just stretching our stretching our our robot hunting legs. Let's go back to our explosions. Very passive for being corrupted robots. How did he not hit those traps?
Jeez. How many times can you shoot him in the head? Oh my. That was a doozy. I think a doozy is a technical word for that too. Not bad though. I'm pretty happy with how that played out. I think he might have killed more than one, I hope. I hope. Low and quiet does it. I hope is really all I can ask for. Yep, two of them died. I did get two of them, which is pretty awesome. He's about to walk into that, isn't he? Nope, not quite. They won't see it coming. Two corrupted chargers are down. That balloon is still there. I have one more trap left. I'm gonna have to make it count. Cannot see. Jeez. I think he died. Guys, coming. Yeah. Disengage. Not sure where he's shooting at. Wait, someone else fighting? What is that? What is that laser beam? Did you see that laser beam? Why was that scrapper? Here they come. Here. He's running around hitting all my traps. There's an audio log right here. These robots must be hostile to one another? I think they fight each other. Come on, how many rocks do I have to throw, guys? I think the Bellowbacks... Oh, it's because they're corrupted, probably, and these robots aren't corrupted. Interesting. 
Yes! Wow. This is incredible. Somehow we've managed to lead them to fight each other. Guys, keep lasering it. They're scary. Hit my trap. Hit my trap. Nope. He died before he hit it. Jaderite, happy Wednesday. I was gonna say happy Tuesday. Happy Wednesday, good sir. Glad you could join us. Did we do it? I don't think it's dead just yet. How has your Wednesday been? Still have a trap. There's a bunny rabbit. Is it not over yet? I feel like we've cleared Saving these for the, trail. the area pretty well. <laughs> you say that as if it's a bad thing, good sir. Max everything back out. I need to get that skill where I can undo my traps and stuff. I just need, what, three more points? To all Jesse fans. It's a text data point for the world. Okay, I want to get something off my chest right now because this needs to be said. To all Jesse fans, and to the entire Romantic Fortunes fan community, Jessica Sterling should not win Romantic Fortunes. This is so obvious to anyone who actually pays attention. I used to be like you guys. Last season, I wanted Jessica to win, but as of episode 301, she has gone too far. Were you people even watching when she rejected Lewis, the sweetest human being on the planet? He stood by her through everything. The Alaskan acquisition, that time the Harrier bots malfunctioned mid-battle. The only reason Jessica has had any success is because Lewis had her back. He loves her, and she doesn't even care. This is why I am throwing my support behind Vernon. I do not take this decision lightly. I was a Jessa fan for two whole seasons. Jessica is the whole reason I even care about Sterling Malkeet. But as a fan, I cannot continue to support someone so heartless. Lewis, you can't do better. Someone's very passionate about this television show. All right. I think the one guy, he must have killed one of these robots. Because there were definitely two, two of them. And now I only see one. Ooh, another data point. Chocolate box log. Your latest meaningful conversation on chocolate box. 
Was this the love connection moment you'll tell your grandkids about? You can opt out of receiving these logs at any time by editing your chocolate box profile. Serafina, hey, winky smiley face. Lars, hey, how's it going? Fine. Bored, though. Yeah, Wednesday nights. <laughs> it's Wednesday morning, actually. <laughs> Jesse for life. Wolf Katag, I got your back. <laughs> You're really cute, Lars. Thanks, you too. Hey, do you want to chat with me in my private salon? Oh, you're a honeybot. Ha ha ha, what? No, silly. Okay, if you're not a honeybot, tell me about the most earth-shattering work of art you've ever seen. You're funny, Lars. Tell me about the last time you experienced heartache. You're funny, Lars. Tell me about an experience your friends enjoyed, but about which you were ambivalent. Hey, do you want to chat with me in my private salon? Holy crap, you're not even a good honeybot. You suck. You're funny, Lars. Lars has ended the conversation. <laughs> it's interesting that most of the data logs, most of the dialogue revolves around romance and like boys and girls chasing each other. It's all like online dating profiles, online dating TV shows. Is this what the future becomes? The robots have a right to destroy everything if that's what our future is. No, 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 not the explosion. Ah! I need the bunny rabbit. What? There's that rabbit bone. But what do I need? Fish bone? Rabbit skin, dang it. Fair point, fair point. That is pretty close to the current state of things. I guess we did it, it's clear. Anything else to grab? Ooh, we have a vantage point. Oh, we can see what this place used to be. That'll be cool. <laughs> Sterling Malkeet Amphitheater. Oh, you can see those buildings in the background too. It was like a skyscraper. Tons of people. It's like a stage. This is pretty cool. Like a concert hall, an outdoor concert venue. The Pakistan Shit Storm Tour, day five. The gray swarms open for turtle smash the night I OD'd here. Or so the police report said, anyway. I was 15 years old. Oh my gosh. When I woke in the hospital two days later, your face was the first thing I saw. I'm really hoping these dialogue things will like loop back in to flesh out the story of the world. They don't just exist to just give you random snippets of life. I mean, it's fascinating and all, but... I like my stealth upgrades, man. These things don't even... S oh, now he sees me. Speak of the devil. Okay, I think quest-wise, I think we're in a pretty good spot. This is go to Meridian. This is DLC. This has to go back to the Sun Tower place. This is way outside of our level. This, I am not, I'm not going to try the hunting lodge stuff right now. Bandit camp is level 25. More hunting ground, more hunting grounds. This quest is basically to do hunting ground stuff. Now I've done none of these. So basically the only quest we have left is to go forward. Alright, I'm okay with that. That feels like a cool accomplishment. Ooh, 
57 handling. Handling, I guess. My sharp shot bow. 29 damage. Some tear. 27 tear. I don't think the tear matters to these weapons. Because you're not actually tearing anything off with them. Okay. There's a lot of looting. I guess we go back. I can do to prove herself to the Hunter's Lodge. I earn an extraordinary reward box for that. That sounds pretty legit. But no, I think it's back to Day Camp? Day Tower? Day Tower. Alright, I need to steal one of these horses if I can. It'll make the trip a lot easier. How convenient. I'm gonna need you. Let's go, buddy. Ooh, that's a bellow back. That's two bellow backs. Let's ride fast. And that's a sawtooth. And that's a whole group of things. Run, pig, run. Right, we're good. More watchers up here. Oh, crabs. Crabs. No! We're even going the right way. Oh, this is a different area of fog. I did want to explore this direction, I guess. It's a wind turbine. That's cool. Wow, it's like a wind turbine farm. Oh gosh. Text me. There are a lot of robots. This is really neat, though. What is that? A thunder jaw sight? I don't think I can hack thunder jaws. He's fighting somebody. Whoever, whatever he is, he is gigantic. Level 27. Yeah, 
It's a Zeta Override. Apex, Apex Combat Machine. Equipped with a wide array of heavy artillery and melee attacks. What do you think? Level 27? Think we can do it? Look at the guns on his back. The glowing ones. Look how giant those are. Disc launchers. Tail. Radar. Cannons. He's got two cannons mounted on either side of his face. What do we got? Dead watchers. I can make it through this area? I can make it through and maybe loop around to come from the other side? So if we take the left path, it looks like we can make it through the mountains. We can try. Jump on its back. Yep, just go for it, right? It's like a Legolas versus the uh, Oliphant. In Return of the King. Single-handedly take it down. Let's try to avoid it. Man, that thing is big. I mean, we're gonna have to fight him. Like, you know that's coming. Oh, great. Rode right into that. We absolutely did. Keep riding. Is this the trail? I can't tell if we're going the right way anymore. Oh, there's people! Down there and help. Down there and help. Ow. It's all right. I don't think that matters. Yes, go bull. I could override him. Woo! Now that's how we do it. Thank you, Savage. Thank you, Savage. That's the response I get. My gosh. Thank you, Savage. You're welcome for saving your for the Sundom behind Meridian. Jeez. My bull even died during this fight. Is that it? I don't actually get to talk to any of you. You're just a random patrol that I saved for no reason other than because I'm a kind-hearted soul. It was a crocodile spot. There's a campfire back here. Shouldn't be that far, actually. This is kind of neat, folks. Just a, a different way around the mountains. Finding the thunder jaws. Am I going the right way? Yeah, let's go through the valley. I don't really see the need to go up through the mountains right now. Nighttime on foot in strange lands. What what could happen? Lots of foxes and raccoons.
Good for an old remedy. A lot cooler to see in the daytime. Can we go in? No? It's just a really cool tower, but you can't do anything with it. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, we're like on a cliff. We gotta get down if we wanna get over to the city. And how do we get down without dying? All right, so we're coming up about 15 minutes, quarter till noon here, folks. Noon, I think, is we're gonna, when we're going to reveal the word of the day. So just if you're just joining us, if you're just tuning in and you missed it in the beginning, the word of the day is BOSK. BOSK. B-O-S-K. And if you can, don't Google it just yet. I'm curious if anyone... I When I first came across this word, I did not know what it meant. But I'm curious if anybody out there is familiar with the word BOSK. B-O-S-K. At noon, in 15 minutes, we'll talk about what the, uh, what it is, what it means. There's gotta be a way down. Do I have to go around, like, this ridiculously long way? Ha! Ah, they're fighting another one. Oh, they killed it. I was gonna laugh. I'm like, I'm not gonna help you with this one this time, guys. You're on your own. But if they did kill it, I'll come loot Another triumph supplies. for Meridian. Okay, here seems to be a valley, a down road. I could use another horse. I think there's a little area up here we can grab one. something right here, like a little building or something. Let's see, catch us. It'd be so much cooler to see this in the daytime. It's so dark. Oh, it's a gate. I can get out of this. Whoa, whoa, guys, it's my horse. Calm down. I'm not sure why they're so hostile. Right. Dawn's Sentinel. Cool. Okay, on we go. The road is so terribly laid out. Can't you guys make these paths a little clearer to read? What's that sound? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Run! Use the cactus! Okay, I think we lost it. Stuck on a rock. That thing is massive. I want to scan it. I want to know what I'm fighting. A level 27. Nope, let's go. It's a 
Stormbird. Follow the road. I think we're kind of on the road. Oh my, is it shooting missiles at me? Peoples, peoples! Good luck, guys. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Uh, yeah, follow this road, and then it's gonna hook this way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ride faster. And then hook a hard left. Oh no! Ah! Woo. Talk about dangerous robots out here. Why are they worried about sawtooths? Come on, there's like level 30 T-Rexes and pterodactyls. I like to think of it as saving my strength to fight another day. Saving my strength to fight another day. Discretion, right? How's the saying go? <laughs> Discretion is sometimes the better part of valor. Now, if I had a suit of power armor, it's a different story. Which, considering it's the far future, I mean, it's not impossible. Right? Just like some Fallout 4 level power armor lying around somewhere. Arrested two for disorderly well, you arrested somebody. Maybe you arrested who I'm looking for. Okay, there is somebody here I'm supposed to meet with. Find the outpost commander. <laughs> Lakir came back on his own, a little worse for wear. He seemed a bit embarrassed when I mentioned you. Dare I ask? He has a lovely singing voice. That's a capital lie if I've ever heard one. I'll have a talk with him about it. Okay, I've asked most of these questions. You said something happened with Nakoa. The Nora girl? Yes, something happened. Attempted murder. Prefect Zaid can tell you more about it. You can find him near the main tower, up the steps. Wait, Saeed is here. Dun dun dun. He is. Look, I've heard what your people say about him, but he swears it's a case of mistaken identity. Now, if there's a shadow to him, I've never been able to prove it, and the forbearance he showed towards this Nicole woman was impressive. Oh, speak to him. Maybe he knows where she went. And try not to assault him, please. I need to go. Let me know if there's any news about those missing men. What? I thought I did the whole missing men thing. Some Osram girl that's like this. You're a Zaid. And you're a Nora. I can tell from your tone you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refuse to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. The last Nora who came through here? You mean Nakoa? Is that her name? Oh, well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. But we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. Where is Nakoa now? 
I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. And you're not concerned? But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. Man, she's just having some bad luck. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture and murder, that wasn't me. They had me confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things, but Sun King of Odd has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people, and I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. You know, they're doing a really good job of making me engender trust towards the uh, Sun People. Which would be perfect if, like, this was all a sham. It was all designed just to get us to get truck to let our guard down, and they're going to invade the sacred land. I can see that happening. Invading the sacred land because they want the giant squid octopus robot. Oh, so we have to go to the Lonesome Rock now. Where is that at? That's actually pretty far ahead, isn't it? Okay, I think our next goal should be Long Neck and Long Neck. Let's do this one first. Meridian. Make can't pretty trust good progress. Him. Not after what Yon told me. That garrison is my only lead. Oh, she doesn't trust him. Okay. <laughs> Lost my ride. No, I haven't. Mount can't reach current location. Are you serious? You can't just teleport him? Jump the gap, man. Oh, great. seriously? Okay, I won't look. You can break the geometry of the level and just teleport to me, okay? Oh my. Sure as the sun's rising, you're ignoring. There he comes. I need you, buddy. You and me, Aragorn. You and me. That's a nice sky. Those dark clouds with the stars behind them. That's really neat. Well, where are you going? Wasn't there a trail we were pushing? Is this is the trail? I mean, there's stairs there, all right. I don't know. Sorry, Aragorn. I think this is the end of the road. So dark. Got a boar. Need more water. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Might regret this. Come on, buddy. I need you. There's a rabbit. Let's hunt this rabbit down, buddy. Oh, really? Lucky son of a gun. Oh my gosh, come on. You're like right in my way, man. Like legitimately right in my way. A oh, horse! Come on, man! Wait, no! Oh my gosh! I hear something walking that doesn't sound good. Why can't I shoot my bow? There we go. 
And of course, I think. Oh my gosh. I think my horse is dead. Yep, my horse is definitely dead. What's that sound? Is that bunny rabbit rolling down the hill? Come on, thing. Are you, my, uh, seriously, outside of your... Uh, I'm too far, aren't I? So lame. Okay, just turn around and go away if you're not going to come forward anymore. Alright, I need you to kill everybody else. Go to town, buddy. Another one. This is not good. Where's my robot at? Get in there, help me, man. Pretty dope, man. I think we killed all of them but that guy. Get him! Woo! We did it! Just killed like oh. an army. That was incredible. Man, one sawtooth. One sawtooth. If we were able to take out a sawtooth, two crabs, and like a whole group of watchers. That was incredible. And he's he's injured. Wish I could repair him. Don't have that skill though. Another bunny rabbit. That's how you do it, folks. That was a heck of a fight. All right, just patrol the road. Rabbit bone. I need rabbit skin, don't I? All right, folks, it is 12 o'clock. Let's reveal the word of the day. If you haven't looked it up already, Bosk. B O S K. So, Bosk, it's a small outcropping of trees. I, I've never heard this before. It's kind of like, like another word for thicket, I guess. All right, and it's so neat. I actually I was at um was at a Barnes and Noble, and they had a clearance board game available called Bosk, and it looks really neat actually. Um, you basically plant trees, and the trees grow, and then the trees shed leaves, and the leaves cover the ground, and it's one of those kind of area area management kind of games. It looks really neat and fascinating actually. Oop, I think that might be my guy. Way across that valley. 
haven't had a chance to play it yet. I'm super jazzed to give it a try. But the name, Bosk. A new bit of vocabulary. I'd never heard of that word before. And it's something I feel could easily include into your uh, everyday vernacular. Keep the monsters away from me. Looks good. Follow the road to the junction. Ah! Is that an airplane that crashed? No. I thought maybe it was like an airplane. Maybe I can sneak up on one of them. I can get another one of those. Guys go crazy mode. I could probably crush some serious enemies over here. Give my sec give myself a heck of a oh, he's gonna walk right by here. This is perfect. Give me some more ex juicy juicy experience points. Cause I need three to disarm traps and things. Increased damage and probably more concentration. Let's attack that one. Oh, it's a bunny rabbit. Another bunny rabbit. The sun's coming up. Shot, should I? Oh, this should be this should be nothing, man. Here we go. Fight back, buddy. Get him closer, I can override him. Override again. We have two of them. Don't kill him, don't kill him. He's on our team. And there's my last rabbit skin. Fantastic. I now have two sawtooths. Everybody else, y'all better run. About to own this place. Of course, all the other monsters ran away. He's limping. So much for getting two sawtooths, because everybody else ran away. There's a thing, I want that. Please scan it. Metal versus meat. Sunday, Captain Chromo versus Pink Slip. REXW challenger Captain Chromazone keeps on coming. But can man muscles defeat Pink Slip? General Manager Zeke Garrett's vicious mechanical enforcer. Who will be hired? And who will be fired? Whether you experience it real or by hollow, this will data corrupted. Okay, robots. There's killer crab that you can fight. Yeah, get up in there. Oh, they're all fighting. This is fantastic. What? You. You what? You died? You're a thing! A. a whatever you call them. A giant thing. Oh no, I'm not gonna rock in a hard place. I gotta help my buddy. I gotta help my buddy. I 
think he's getting destroyed. No! Well, that was the fight that I wanted. <laughs> Somehow, it just they spawned like a gazillion enemies. And my one... Oh, the Sawtooths, they fight each other? My recharge tool recharges so slowly that the one Sawtooth is basically dead by the time I get the recharge up. Is there a way to get a faster... Not a way to get a faster recharge. Oh, I had two sawtooth, man. I had two of these giant killer robots. Wiggly Jigglepuff, happy Wednesday. It's going really well, actually. Making a lot of progress. Okay, we hack the Sawtooth. He's more important. No one's paying attention. Oh, nope. He's watching. Oh, dang it, so close. Maybe I can hack a horse first and then get the sawtooth later. Yeah, they end up fighting each other because I, I can only override one robot at a time. And there's a little recharge before I can override the second one. So when I hack one sawtooth, he starts fighting the other sawtooth. So they end up getting damaged before I can hack the second one. And then they've got like a million different robots they have to fight. Which doesn't make my job any easier. I'm hoping to get some experience. I can kill all these robots and the, uh... I think I get experience, right? Do I get experience when these robots kill each other? I should. I'm hoping I do. So our goal, we're going to try to, you know, deal with this little plane of robots and then make it to this long neck and scan the area. Is that a rabbit? No, it's a boar. How come they don't care about the animals, the other animals? Override. Mine. Clever. Okay, they're all running away. Nope, they're not running away. They're attacking me. Can't see what's happening. Can't see what's happening. One down. Two down. My Sawtooth. Ooh, this actually went pretty good. Well, he took out both of these guys. The question now is... Where did the second Sawtooth go? There should be more. Sawtooth this time.
machine gun. Go, go, Tiger. Yeah, he's crushing it. Oh no, is he done? I think he's just stunned. I think he's just stunned. Come on, Watcher, I need you to walk into this stuff. Or just get crushed by the robot. I don't think I get points when my robot kills guys. Which is really quite sad. So I feel like I should get credit for that. Well, we did it that time. There's only one sawtooth, which is a little odd. I think because I died, I don't have my rabbit skin anymore. Which is lame, because I finally found a rabbit skin. After how long of searching? Oh, useful. Please be a rabbit skin. A rabbit bone. I don't need bones. I need skins. Well, I suppose we go onward. I was kind of hoping for another epic fight here, but. Not gonna get one, I guess. Okay, the long neck should be over this way. That'll keep my stomach quiet. Tons of animals. Tons of animals. Long leg, of course. I'm picking up another signal. We're going. Really hoping we get a rabbit skin. Oh, great birds. And now a dust storm. Level 18 Flint Hawk. That's new. sure how we're supposed to deal with them. He's 18, so he's more my speed. I can take him. Dust won't stop blowing. Trampler? Is that a new kind of robot? That is a new kind of robot. So this is a glint hawk, flying scavengers that travel in groups. Ooh, gotta be careful about that. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. And then there's a trampler, which I can override. When threatened, it will run circles around its target while using explosive fire attacks. Wow. Thank you, Jiggly Wiggly Jigglepuff. Metal versus meat. Sunday, Captain Chromo versus Pink Slip. Oh, I read this one already. Dude, we can get this long neck. 
We're just we closing in on the signal. Rounded by robots. Copper deeps. I need to find a way up to the tall next head. Oh, and there's alligators. Fish, there's tons of fish, which is important. That rock over there, that's the one I need to be on. He walks right by it. He killed all the fish. That's incredible. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Come on. Ah! Don't try to outswim an alligator. Oh my gosh. What kind of spawn point is this? Where am I? Oh, I'm in the Copper Deeps now. They just teleported me right where I need to go. How amazing is that? I need you on my side for a moment, buddy. But don't go getting anybody angry. That's the path I have to jump. We will when he comes by. I can hack an alligator. That'll make my life a lot easier. Save these for the trail. Bird, I gotta be careful with the bird. This should be a good spot for jumping onto the tall neck. Huh. Yes. All right. Now I just have to reach the And not get attacked by anybody else. Oh my gosh. Where's the next spot? Oh my gosh. I can't fight! I can't fight up here! Ugh. This is bad, this is bad. We need to climb. I like how the tall neck is completely passive to all of this. He's like, I don't care. Override. He is like the VR zoo experience. You're absolutely right. All right, we covered some map. Now you'll be my fighting platform. The tall neck of the Copper Deeps has been uncovered. Wow. Kind of, he's like my friend. He's, he's not going to help me fight anybody. He just kind of wanders around. He's like a map. So by hacking into him and making him on my side, he reveals his map for me. So we have a corrupted zone here. Lonesome Rock. He, unv he unveiled the path to Lonesome Rock, which is where I want to go next. So he uncovered a pretty fair bit. A little gatehouse down here. I'm pretty happy with that. Two skill points. Tall neck. The bird was attacking. The bird is still attacking. Oh, it's an alligator. Whoa, that was close. Let's get that. Love 
rabbits and I would love fish. Those would be two incredible things right now. I think I'm in clear. That might be a fish right there. Fish skin? I need a fish bone, I'm pretty sure. We got a little less than 10 minutes, folks. Fish. These are all salmon. I need trout. Bone? Fish bone, that's what I need. We can now upgrade the rope caster. We now need a raccoon skin. How am I going to get out of it? I need to get to a campfire. That's a bandit camp. There's one pretty close, actually. If I can get to that save point, I'll feel a lot better. But there are alligators everywhere. Wow. One, two, three, four. What is he doing? He's like spitting resources? Rocks! Come on, quit stopping me! That was bad. That was so bad. I almost got the hack. But the thing is, I, I chickened out. I got the hack and then I chickened out and let go of the triangle button. If I would have held it, I would have hacked it. But I chickened out. Uh oh. Closest campfire. <sighs> Bunny rabbit. Please, I need you to have a skin. No skin. fires nearby. How cool is that? Alligator and a giant robot.
Oh no. Oh no. Everybody is coming after me. Be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. About out of time here. But we can do this. We can make it to that save point. That's our goal. If we make it to the save point, that's where we'll pause today. That gives us a good spot, I think. You don't see me. You are mine. Okay, that's nice. This island is now my safe haven. We will lure the other ones over here. And I can hack them. And they get close. As long as he doesn't immediately go crazy on them and attack. Yeah, run away. Create some distance. Don't be between me and the robot, because he's gonna attack. Don't kill him, don't kill him. I need to override him. Ooh, all right. Two alligators. But he is hurt. I should get experience with this. Seems a little cheap that I don't. Okay, the campfire is right over there. Yeah, we should be able to go nice and easy now. There's a big bridge over there. Just cool. stay out of their way for now. Bunny rabbits? No bunny rabbits. No bunny rabbits. Hardy little plant. You'll help. Okay. At least we got our save point dropped in. Another campfire with a little outpost or something. Another gate right here, it looks like. We need to make it over this mountain. There's a bandit camp. I don't know what level it is. A corrupted zone. And then there's this. Lonesome rock. All before we get to Meridian. Another long neck for more skill points. And another override down there. Man, there's some really useful stuff going on. Another long neck right up here, too. So much. So much to want to do, folks. So much to want to do. Level 20. They're pretty strong, hardy ones, aren't they? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be it for our stream today. Making progress. I felt pretty good about that. Got us a little bit further in the game. Lots of experience. Uncovered a lot of the map. 
we're in a really good position, I think, for tomorrow's stream. And we learned a new word today. Bosk. B-O-S-K. It means a small group of trees. A small group of trees. Three quarters looks like, folks, so bringing us up tentatively another 75 cents to $32.25. All that, of course, officially updated for everybody come tomorrow's stream. Remember, we're streaming one more time this week, Thursday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're not going to have a stream this weekend. There won't be a little baby long play, but I think... I need to stay tuned for this to be confirmed, but I think we're going to be doing a long play next Friday. Next Friday to coincide with my fasting time. Um, next Friday or next Saturday, we'll figure it out. So stay tuned for that. We are going to incorporate another long play coming in next week. Uh, but this weekend, folks, get out there, enjoy the weather. Hopefully it's beautiful wherever you happen to be. And as always, thank you for spending your time this morning with me. I appreciate it. Whether it was one minute, um, 30 minutes, or an hour, hour and a half, the whole stream, whatever it was that you could spare, the support is certainly always appreciated. It means a lot that you take the time to come out and hang out here as we not only play our way through video games, try to have a good time, but try to make a bit of a difference in this world, even if it's just 25 cents at a time. All this money, of course, going to donate, donated toward and helping the Water Project. As again, there's a button below the stream if you want to check them out or, or support them directly, you can do that. Um, and as always, folks, this has been a blast. This is always a great time. No better way to get my afternoon kicked off than getting to spend here with you guys playing video games. Raise money for charity. I hope you have a wonderful rest of this spectacular Wednesday that you have. Wishing you the best out there, folks. Stay safe, and hope that catch you on the flip side Thursday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, stay safe out there, and as always, you know the drill. Happy gaming.